Putin wants to freeze the war in Ukraine and sell the Russians victory. President of Russia Vladimir Putin is ready to negotiate a ceasefire and freeze the war on the existing front line. He believes that he can already sell his people victory. Reuters writes about this with reference to four Russian sources. Putin can fight as long as necessary, but he is also ready for a ceasefire, a freeze of the war, one of the interlocutors said. The Kremlin ruler told a small group of advisers he was disappointed by the West's attempts to interfere with negotiations and Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky's decision to rule out such a possibility, three sources said. They say Putin wants to use Russia's current momentum to put the war behind him. He allegedly believes that the existing achievements in the war are enough to sell the Russians victory. He also understands that further gains will require nationwide mobilization and this will lead to a drop in ratings. In addition, the longer the war goes on, the more disgruntled Russian veteran occupiers return to Russia, creating tension in society. At the same time, interlocutors say Putin's insistence that any achievements on the battlefield be enshrined in the agreement is non-negotiable. Putin will say that we won that NATO attacked us and we retained our sovereignty, that we have a land corridor to Crimea, and this is true, said one of the interlocutors. In the absence of a ceasefire, Putin wants to seize as much Ukrainian territory as possible to increase pressure on Kyiv. He expects that his advantage in population will allow him to maintain the size of his army without mobilization. Russia will move forward, the source said. The interlocutor is confident that Putin will slowly conquer territories until President Zelensky offers to stop. Also, the head of the Kremlin is confident that the West will not provide the Ukrainian army with enough weapons and this will undermine the morale of people. Putin also told advisers that he has no plans on the territory of NATO countries, according to five sources. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Ukraine responded to anonymous statements from Russian sources about Putin's alleged readiness to freeze the war on the current contact line. Why are Russian sources suddenly telling the media that Putin is ready to stop the war on the current line of contact? Putin is desperately trying to disrupt the peace summit in Switzerland. He is afraid of its success. His cordon is sending these false signals about the supposed readiness for a ceasefire, despite the fact that Russian troops continue to brutally attack Ukraine, explained the head of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Dmitry Kuleba, on the social network X. The minister is confident that at present, Putin has no desire to stop the aggression. Russia's offensive on Kharkiv was stopped thanks to new weapons. The Ukrainian forces managed to stop the offensive of the Russian occupation troops on Kharkiv, in particular thanks to weapons from the United States. This was stated by the analyst of the German Bild news outlet Julian Ropka. The analyst reports that the advance of the Russian army stalled 11 days after crossing the border in the north of the Kharkiv region. According to him, in the direction of the village of Lipsy, the Russian armed forces remain in the same border villages that they managed to capture in the first three days of the offensive. In the area of Vovchansk, from which civilians were evacuated, fighting continues for the city, but there is almost no significant progress in the vicinity. The reason is the use of new American weapons by Ukraine. GLSDB bombs, Javelin ATGMs, 155mm artillery shells are actively used, which also entered the front line in the Donetsk region, notes Robka. At the same time, according to the analyst, the Russian command continues to send its soldiers to suicidal attacks. For May the 20th, the Russian armed forces lost 67 units of armored vehicles in Ukraine. However, the Russian command continues to throw troops into suicidal attacks, the article reads. Russia's two-pronged assault in Kharkiv Oblast that began on May the 10th is exploiting Ukraine's troop shortage, forcing it to make difficult decisions about where to commit reserves. Two weeks into the offensive, one group of Russian forces is already fighting in the streets of the town of Vovchansk, about 70 kilometers away from the city of Kharkiv, while the other is trying to push toward the town of Lipsy, just under two dozen kilometers away from the city. The Kremlin has options for what it can try to accomplish in the area Area, depopulating Kharkiv, taking territory and, most importantly, getting Ukraine to commit reserves needed elsewhere. Russian forces captured and then lost a lot of territory in Kharkiv Oblast in 2022 following the start of Russia's full-scale invasion. Throughout 2023, they conducted major offensives in the Kupiansk district, which achieved little except inflicting casualties on both sides.